This is BESI 2, an electron storage wing for producing synchrotron radiation. The installation of superconducting cavities will upgrade the wing to BESI VSR. Simultaneous storing of short and long electron bunches becomes possible. But the cavities can also disturb the stored electron beam. Let's try to store only a few electrons in the machine. That means weakly charged electron bunches. Then the disturbance should be negligible. The electron beam is stored successfully in the wing. But behind the cavities, the bunches deviate already slightly from the desired orbit. So what happens if we increase the amount of stored electrons to produce more intense synchrotron radiation? Further electrons are injected and the charge per bunch increases. Because of the higher charge, the perturbation of the electron motion becomes stronger. It even comes to a coupling of the electron bunches via the cavities, which transfers the disturbance to the whole beam. The electron beam becomes instable and cannot be stored anymore. The beam gets lost. And this has to be avoided by a better cavity design or other methods reducing the perturbation in order to store high currents successfully.